Well, Super Tuesday is well underway, and it's a big moment for determining the next president of the United States and who might run against President Donald Trump. 14 states are participating. 13 News Now's Megan Chin is at a polling center in Norfolk with the very latest out there. Megan. Good morning, Ashley. As you know, we've been out here all morning. Polls in Virginia opened more than six hours ago. In North Carolina, they opened at 6.30 this morning, just a half an hour difference. And ever since the doors opened here at the Chrysler Museum, it's been a constant influx of people going in and out. Before the sun was out, poll workers opened doors to a group of people ready to vote on Super Tuesday. Within the first few hours, dozens showed up at the Chrysler Museum in Norfolk. Get out there and vote, right? There's only a Democratic presidential primary in Virginia this time. That means people in Hampton Roads are casting votes for a Democratic candidate. Daphne Swirsky says she feels it's her civic duty. It's my right, and I, I just felt compelled to get up early <laughs> and do it. Regardless of the time of day, a lot of other people feel the same. I can't complain if something goes wrong if I don't vote. The ballot was filled with names of people who dropped out of the race, some a long time ago, some as recent as this week. Senator Amy Klobuchar and Mayor Pete Buttigieg were among the more recent ones to bail. They endorsed former Vice President Joe Biden, but a lot of the voters here stuck to their own choices. That includes Mike Peterson. You know, I hope it's going to be a big Bernie Sanders win on Super Tuesday. Regardless of their picks, pretty much everyone agrees it's a privilege to have the right to vote and to voice their opinions. I love our country. I do. And polls will stay open in Virginia until 7 o'clock tonight and in North Carolina until 730. Live in Norfolk, Megan Shin, 13 News Now. All right, Megan, thank you. Now, we want to make sure you have everything you need to know before you cast your ballot. Just text the word primary to 757-628-6200, and we'll send you a link to our primary guide. Well, Virginia and North Carolina aren't the only states holding primary elections today. So we already told you a total of 14 states will decide who they want to nominate in the presidential election. And ABC's Inez de la Quatera has the details. It's the biggest contest of the 2020 primary season. People in 14 states and one U.S. territory heading to the polls. Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders both casting their own ballots in their home states. I'm here today because I believe in you. I believe in the America we can build together. And if we're going to defeat Donald Trump, our campaign is the campaign to do that. As Joe Biden gets a major last minute boost. Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar both dropping out of the race for president and endorsing the former vice president. Biden surging after that big win in South Carolina. If you are tired of the extremes, you have a home with me. And I think you know you have a home with Joe Biden. Folks, this is a team. A show of unity from the moderate wing of the party to stop Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders from winning the nomination. Let's put forward somebody who's actually a Democrat. Super Tuesday will also be the first time Mike Bloomberg is on the ballot. The billionaire former mayor making it clear he's not going anywhere. I have no intention of dropping out. We're in it to win it. Bernie Sanders is still the front runner and says this coalition we're seeing is proof. The establishment is worried about how well he's doing. Polls will begin closing at 7 p.m. Eastern here in Virginia and in Vermont. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News in Alexandria, Virginia.